Hello, so I have another scrapbook video for you and this one I am going to be working in my travel album. So I'm just pulling up Pinterest because I had pinned some um, ideas that I wanted to incorporate for that I for this layout. Um, so I'm just slowly getting into my Pinterest here. Um, I'm gonna go to my scrap board or scrappy board. So I kind of like, so what I've been looking at a lot lately is these big letters and I'm just thinking, so see how they have the big um, numbers and letters there. I've been really digging that and I knew I had tons of them from um, the Beautiful Mess, their kits. So I'm um, just kind of looking through here, I'm trying to think if there was this wasn't where the stuff is, but I'm just trying to also get an idea for a um, layout to um, just a kind of a template of how I want to lay out my page as well. So I really like this one. I like how they did the big love at the top and then um, had the, um, it's from Studio Calico page, um, the love with the, little, the strips of paper on the side. So I'm gonna go to my inspiration board. So this is just like randomly when I see design stuff. Um, I, I post in here in this pin into this board. So I'm really liking that out. Sorry, it's kind of really there, but the big letters and spelt outwards. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be using for my inspiration for this page. So I'm just going to put it off to the side. I kind of look at it and then I kind of put it off the side and just go by based on what I can think in memory. So here's the papers I've pulled out. Um, this is from SEI. And, and there's a Jubilee, in my mind's eye, Jubilee. Um, I'll put in the descriptions of their names of these papers. Now the red one's really old, so who knows if it's still out there. The green one, it may be out there still. And then the other papers are from... Um, beautiful mess subscription and then some scraps so I also pulled out some ribbon just to give some more texture to this page and this white speckly um, clear paper um, vellum what not vellum um, acrylic paper is a beautiful mess and then this blue paper here is from a beautiful mess from one of their kits and as well as this blue speckled um, it's like kind of like snow almost paper so I'm just trimming these down not really having a rhyme or reason I did do that that light blue one I did trim it down so I just have a slight border around my photo and then the other ones are just random ways of just trimming them down there's no rhyme or reason to the size here so this is a picture of my brother and I up on top of the Space Needle in Seattle so I'm going to use that in my title as well, incorporate that. As you can see, those big letters on the side, spelt on top. So I'm just layering the papers here, um, trying to figure out where I want them to go and things. So yeah, and just going down everything as well. I love how bright this um, green paper is. It's and the back side's pretty cool too, but I wanted the green side. So here we have the antennas. Yeah, that's a cue, but um, I'm going to trim off the little line through the cue to make it an, turn it into an O. So I'd already kind of traced. I had laid over the other O on top of the cue to kind of get a little bit of a trace of the circular you know circular in it to make even as well um, and then I'll just trimming up off those little things to make turn it into an O up and down clean up the rough edges so and there we go on top I love it loved how it turned out so I'm just playing around with the placement here trying to make sure how we want it on top would work but I didn't like it all up there I wanted to put 
put it wrap around the photo and then to have the letters overlap as well. And there I'm tucking them behind the photo as well. So that photo actually came from, they do, um, I'm going to tape the space until they have a camera up there that will take your picture and stuff. And I think you can download them or somehow you get them if you can like, like it on Facebook or something. I don't know. Somehow I got it. Um, don't really remember. But I, was, let's, I thought that was pretty cool. So now I'm using these Amy Tangerine corners. They're like little fabric corners. And then I also decided to pull out some more um, embellishments to use on my layout. And I'm using these thin little washi strips that I got. Washi paper washi tape strips that I got to Hobby help, Lobby. Help me. And it's a more mute, beautiful mess, uh, messy box circles, but I didn't use them. And these hearts came from a beautiful mess subscription too as well, one month. And then I love these little Amy Tangerine little puffy stickers and I'm using the little clouds since we, um, they worked the colors and since we were up on top. And so right now I'm just trying to think of where else am I going to place them? What else do I need to add? So I had that red label and I thought about adding some more to the left side of the photo, but I didn't like how the way it was anchoring the photo and how it was just sticking off to the side. So now I just I decided to pull out some of those um, three by three cards that I've gotten through the messy box kits, and I really like that light blue one with this checkered um, grid or the grid pattern on it. I'm just looking through here to see if there's even more. I really wanted to use that, incorporate that red um, diagonal striped one, but um, I just couldn't make it work, anyways. And it, So, really trying to use all my scraps. I've been like on a scrappy uh, mood lately. Just been scrapping a lot, trying to get lots of pages scrapped. It's, I guess, this is what my time consists of now since there's um, grad school. I don't have my working right now since the summer. Uh, soon my schedule's gonna get busy. I'm being back in my classroom ready and the school year starting. So, just getting lots of scrapping done right now. And it feels good to be kind of back in the scrapping mood. Um, using being my creative, being creative stuff. So I really couldn't figure out where I wanted to put those things. So I'm just going to go straight to putting the rest of my title on. So I put, the, you can't really see it in there, but it still spells out space and then I'm putting a needle. And there is using Kelly Perky little her little um, letter stickers that come in her monthly kit. However, I just did not, I thought they would look good there at the top, but I look at it and I don't like it. So I'm going to move them down to the bottom of the picture, which I think now they really pop because you can read that it says Space Needle. And I like it because it's right above, right below the little um, icon logo that of the space needle that came with the came with the photo. So now I'm gonna finish adding these little clouds to my paper to the layout and just kind of putting small little clusters of embellishments here and there and there I think. Oh so in one of my kits I one month I got lucky and somehow I got double the stuff in the beautiful mess. So I have two sets of these stickers that's about the weekend and just traveling and stuff that came from the messy box subscription. So you'll see, I can't see what they were saying. I think it was like, great, good times. You'll see them in the end, I know, um, as well. So just putting the last of these enamel dots down. And I think that's gonna be everything. And I really don't journal on these pages. Like I said, I may come back on um, later on and journal, but I don't know. I just, it's not my main priority in uh, my travel albums is to journal. So I think once I get finished with it, I'll journal for the album. I'll come back and have a journaling. So here's the close-ups, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.